All right, tonight I'm going to catch fish a little bit differently on this video. I'm going to use this fish trap that one of you gave to me a while back, and I'm going to use a yo-yo. Now I know you're asking right away, why do I have plastic gloves on? Well, my buddy Randy gave me the most rank chicken known to man, and I'm going to use this as bait in the fish trap to hopefully catch some bullheads. I've been wanting to catch bullheads here in my favorite culvert for a long time now, and I have not caught any on rod and reel. I'm just going to try a trap this time. I know there's bullheads in this creek system, and they're yellow bullheads. They're native to the southeast United States. So I'm hoping to get lucky tonight and catch some bullheads. And to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to fish with them or not. It's a little bit too early in the year to chase flatheads with live bait. All right, let's get this in here. I'm really afraid to open this thing. Oh well. <laughs> Even in plastic bags, this stuff smells bad. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh. Whew. Ah. I'll get this in the water before I puke everywhere. I'm going to pack out my trash and others' trash from here. Let's go set up the yo-yo. Now the yo-yo I'm going to use is a Muddy River mud stick. A catfish yo-yo is traditionally round, but it's still the same concept. It has a spring inside that sets the hook when a fish grabs the bait. This one is basically a tube design. Chris Flores with Muddy River Catfishing designed this. Now I've had this for a while. I bought it probably two years ago when they first came out with it. And I've only used it a couple of times. I haven't caught anything with it. So I figured I'd give it a try tonight. Although I probably won't catch anything because the water is still too cold. Now I got a Team Catfish double action circle hook and 60 pound monofilament as the line connected to this. And how you set this, you pull it till you see the bead, and you put the bead in the little hole there. So when the fish grabs the bait, it sets the hook. This is going to be a difficult spot to put this in because I might fall in the water. This is a mud bank from all the rain and flooding. I would be underwater right now if this was two weeks ago. And the bait I'm using is fresh skipjack herring. In fact, I'm going to cut this guy up. I'm going to throw all the pieces in the water except for the head. I'm going to use the head on the mud stick. Normally, if you're using yo-yos, you want to have a dozen of them out. Well, I only have one. So I'm going to try to attract the fish to the area by cutting this guy up. And of course, it's raining right now. My last big flathead was caught on a big headpiece of skipjack. I'm just going to nose hook him. And set this. Still got quite a bit of current. I'm gonna have to hang it. It'll be more like a limb line than a yo yo. Whoop! 
trip to All right, it's in the water. I don't have high hopes of catching anything, but I figured it'd be worth a try. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should keep trying to catch something with a yo-yo in the future. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and check on the trap. It's been probably about an hour and a half, two hours. I wanted to just leave it in there for a couple hours, check it, and then leave it there overnight. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me and see if we caught anything in the fish trap. All right, gonna check the trap. Somebody was hungry. There we go. He got stuck on the outside of the trap. Caught a fish. Got a fish in a trap. Apparently sunfish like really badly rotten chicken. I mean, that chicken is rank. I smell it right now. It's horrible. And this guy's so big, he couldn't even make it into the trap. I think this is a rock bass. I'm not going to keep this guy. I'm going to go ahead and release him, put him back in the water. I was hoping for bullheads. I am going to leave the trap in the water and keep it there overnight, see if I can catch something else. All right, I'm going to check the yo-yo first in the morning and then I'm going to come over here and check the trap. And that should start in exactly one second. All right, good morning. Here to check the yo-yo or the Muddy River mud stick. It looks like it's not triggered, so I'm going to pull it out of the water and see if there's any bait on it. As you can see, the current is pretty strong here, so this probably was a bad idea. Try not to fall in. Yep, nothing wanted to head. I don't want to leave a yo-yo out more than overnight. It's just too dangerous. A lot of people like to leave yo-yos out for days or weeks at a time. Same thing with trot lines and other animals can get hooked by this. A fish can get hooked on it and be on there for a week. It's just a really bad idea to leave something like this out for a long time and that's what gives these alternative methods of catching fish a bad rap because people are just lazy and they just leave it out there so i'm going to get this wrapped up and head to the fish trap i'm now at my favorite beaver flooded culvert let's go ahead and pull the fish trap Nothing in the trap. I'm gonna put the trap back out and check it the rest of the day. I really don't want to deal with this chicken right now. It's not as smelly as it was last night, but maybe by tonight I'll catch some bullheads off camera. 
If I do catch some bullheads, I'll put them on my Instagram. I'm gonna get this back in the water. All right, that's a wrap for this video. I figured I'd try something a little bit different. My time this weekend is actually limited. I have a first aid and CPR class today. So I figured I'd break out the Muddy River mud stick and the fish trap to see if I could catch something. And I was successful. I caught a fish. I caught that rock bass yesterday. But as always, leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment below what you think about alternative methods of fishing. And I thank you again for watching. Now if this rain would stop, I could get out my good camera and get some really good videos going.